So, a player who missed out yesterday who could be close again to coming back. Hello and welcome to this video. I hope you're all doing well. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Uh, liking helps the algorithm, sharing gets in front of people's faces, and subscribing let me know you like the channel. Hit that notification bell to let you know when videos go live. Uh, fantastic result yesterday. Great uh, views as well on the video. I much appreciate that. So, Sheffield went to yesterday, got a good win versus uh, Bristol City. And sadly, everybody else had got decent wins as well. One thing that I looked up was that Diaby was not in the starting 11. It was like, hmm, interesting because he got injured versus, uh, I think I think he got a knock when he played Leicester. Uh, and Shipton was on the bench, which was interesting. So, it's one of the things. Diaby not had, and I'm on about Momo Diaby here. Momo Diaby not had much luck with uh, injuries since he's been here. Uh, he had that one game versus Preston. We were like, oh, he's solid. We found our person in the midfield. Played that game, had to go off injured. Don't see him until January. Come back in January, starts looking good. Gets another little bit of knock again. Uh, and this is what Danny Will had to say. It was close, same as last week against Millwall. We brought him on the pitch. I had a feeling that he was not 100%, and that's the reason we decided that it makes no sense to try this weekend again. If It, it is helpful that we have a normal week being, bringing the player back, and Polity will be back next week. We're getting to a place where we almost have our player back from last week. We need the balance of our positioning and the high quality of training. And this is the thing. In the past, Sheffield Wednesday would have gone, well, he's back. He's not 100%, but we're going to play him anyway. We would have done that. We have done that in the past. In the past, we have played players who are not 100% fit, and then we've gone, they've gone out, got injured, and we're like, well, why did we play him if he had a knock? What's the point? I like this approach from Danny Roll. I really like this approach from Danny Roll because it means he's actually looking at what needs to be done. He's looking at how he can improve things. He's also gone, look, you're a youngster. I trust you to be on this bench. If you're called upon, you'll play. Uh, but I think it'll do well. And a lot of people have been asking what's going on with Rio Shipton because for a while, Shipton was looking like a really good person who could be in that uh, mold of trying to step into a 13th place at one point. And it's gone off the boil a little bit. But Momo Diaby is one of those ones which is interesting because I believe there is an option for us to buy him if we want at the end of the season. Now, if Momo stays fit, you could probably see that happening. I'd like there the, to be an option on uh, um, Ike uh, at the moment because he's just doing ever so well. But this is the thing you've got with it all. At the end of the day, I like that we're not ricking players for the sake of ricking players. We've done that a lot in the past. And it seems like there's just a different level of precaution, different level of making sure, checking. You know what I mean? Just trying to be a little bit smarter with how we do things. Uh, one of the interesting things as well from yesterday uh, was Timo Werner was in the stands. And a lot of people were going, what's he doing there? He's Sa Sasha Lenz is his father-in-law, which I didn't know, which is interesting. Sasha Lenz is his father-in-law. So he come to what went the, uh, I think they play, Tottenham play today. So it was interesting seeing him in the director box. And it's like, what are you doing here? <laughs> um, so it was though, we might see him in more often. Uh, I believe... Is it just one game today? Or is it two games? Did they play yesterday? Oh, of course, they were going to play Chelsea, weren't they? Uh, they were going to play Chelsea, but Chelsea's in the cup. That's right. They're in the cup. That's why it's been postponed. Yep, yeah, yeah, that makes sense now. Uh, it cut final day into Liverpool versus Chelsea. Could be the clock last uh, chance of getting silverware. You might be able to do it at the top, but we'll see. But yeah, we will see... What happens with it, with Momo? Uh, I hadn't heard much about Josh. But we do seem to be getting all player back. Dawson's back. I offer back. The players that we thought could be out for a while don't come back. The only one that seems to be out for a long time at this current moment in time, it looks like he's probably not going to play for the rest of the season, is Delgado. Delgado's just not been seen since he had that international break and he did his hip. 
and there is talk that he won't we won't see him at all this season. So the more plays out of the medical room, the better. It means he's got more people to look at and rely on and use. But at the same time, let it's nice to see us being more cautious about our injuries. But thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share, and I'll see you in the next one.